I wish everyone all the very best for Liberation Day. Liberation Day is for all Jersey men and women a momentous occasion, and it gives me great pleasure to be able to speak to you as we celebrate 74 years since the end of the occupation and the day that the Union flag first flew over Jersey after five years of Nazi rule. It has become our national day, one that Islanders celebrate wherever they are in the world. And speaking personally, my only experience of the occupation was listening to the stories of my father, my mother, my great aunt and other relatives of those five years, of understanding what it was like to be occupied when loved ones were either serving in the armed forces or in the French resistance. I'm particularly proud that so many young islanders continue to learn about the occupation to discover the stories of their own families and to understand the significant impact it has had on our island identity and our way of life. And today in the official ceremony we will be reflecting in particular on the contribution of women during the occupation. And as a community we've often overlooked the work of the selfless and courageous women who supported our island through the war years. Not only the mothers and sisters and grandmothers who cared for their children and family through years of unimaginable hardship, but the many who went above and beyond. Women like Miss LaRue, Miss Riv, Miss Dory and Miss Holmes the ladies who kept the Gill Guide movement in Jersey alive throughout the occupation, risking their own safety and freedom. Liberation Day is for many one of mixed emotions. So whilst we give thanks for the liberating forces who brought so much joy to Jersey, we also remember those who suffered and died throughout the occupation years, including the slave workers brought against their will to construct the German fortifications. We also give our sincere thanks to those islanders who selflessly gave their lives fighting for freedom in the theatres of war around the globe. And we remember those islanders who were deported to concentration camps in Germany never to return. Jersey's greatest asset is the resilience and strength of its community and it is that community that saw us through the years of hardship and has allowed us to prosper in the decades that have followed. And it is that spirit of community that makes me especially proud to be your Chief Minister. However you're celebrating, I wish you a very enjoyable and peaceful day. Thank you.